It's a, an amazing venue, uh, 50 year legacy. We're coming up to our 50th uh, birthday uh, early next year. Um, over the time it's had um, uh, Amy Winehouse, David Bowie over the years. Uh, it's part of the proving ground. If uh, a band is going to play your, your Wembleys and your O2 arenas, um, they, the, 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 the tour managers, the band managers need to know that that band isn't going to choke in front of 20,000 people um, and they're not going to get that break until they've done the proving ground of the 1,000, 2,000 capacity venues. Um, so what's great about this venue is it's right in that niche and we always get the bands that are on the way up. Um, it, 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 it's always going to be the case that people are saying, yeah, I saw them here first. Just the right size. We've got the perfect size for it to feel intimate with with the audience and with you're close to the band, but also big enough that we can get some decent names in here. Um, but as well as that, we had a full refurb last year. Uh, all fantastic, um, fantastic new facilities. Uh, we're able to offer loads that lots of other venues can't right now. So we uh, can build platforms for people with accessibility needs. Uh, we can, uh, we have induction sound loops for uh, people with hearing needs. Um, we have full accessibility throughout the venue. Uh, brand new toilets, brand new stage. We've just spent a quarter of a million pounds on new equipment into the venue. Uh, great new lighting rig. Uh, it's, it's just state of the art and fantastic. It's a fantastic venue with, with a great legacy.